When it comes to selling your program, service, or offer online, social proof is one of the biggest drivers of sales, and it's something we just can't overlook, especially when you're creating a sales page. 97% of people say that online reviews and testimonials actually do influence the decision they make in purchasing. And in fact, 88% of them said that even when comparing very similar offers online, the reviews made a difference to which one they decided to go with. Not only that, nearly 90% of people said that they trust online reviews and testimonials as much as they do personal recommendations. So this is not something that we can overlook. So we're gonna create this testimonial slider in Canva for you to embed onto a Canva sales page or website, and you can even embed it onto your own website. So let's hop in and do that now. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Wayne. I am a creative director and a brand designer, and I help coaches and creators to uplevel their visuals and design. If you're not new here, welcome back. We're gonna be working in this pre-made sales page that I have designed, and in fact, is gonna be for sale on my website soon. So we're gonna just click to use this template, and you'll see it brings up all the different sections that make up this sales page. I'm just gonna go down to this section with a quote, and between that and these statements of results, I'm gonna add a new section so that we can add our testimonial slider in there. What I'm gonna do is just change the background to a bit of a lighter color, and that way it will match the testimonial slider that I'm gonna be building. To start creating this testimonial slider, the first thing we're gonna do is just start a blank presentation in Canva for testimonials. On this first slide, I'm just gonna pull the elements together that I think make up a really beautiful and simple testimonial slider design. The things I think are important to include on a testimonial slider is some kind of rating system if you have one. Otherwise, I would also include a photograph of the person if possible, although that can be difficult to maintain if you're doing it for all your testimonials. Also then, name and location, or name and a company name, or something that shows where they are and makes them feel like a real person. Then of course there's the testimonial itself, which I think you should pull out the biggest and most important or most impressive part of it, and then have the rest of the text a bit smaller so that when people are skimming your sales page or your website, they get the gist of it really quickly and then they can drill down into those kind of more granular details if they want to. So I've actually used uh, the magic write tool in a Canva doc, and I've asked it to just create three sample testimonials for a meditation and well-being course, just so that I've got some copy to put into this testimonial. So I'm gonna use the copy out of this first one, and I am going to paste it into that testimonial slider, just into the body text. And then I am going to check the formatting and grab the first sentence out of it, which is the most powerful, I think, and I'm gonna add that into this larger section here. Increase the typeface size a little for both of these sections, um, just so that they're readable when it's small on a screen. And then we are pretty much ready to add a few other pieces, like the photograph of the person whose testimonial it is. Let's go back to this testimonial copy that I've got, and we're going to take the person's name and where they're from, and we're gonna add that into this testimonial where I've added these blocks. Make sure that the formatting is correct. There's our first testimonial. Then the next thing that I wanna add is I just wanna add some buttons so that it's easy for people to navigate. Now, there are actually going to be buttons in the presentation when you embed it. So you don't have to have these, but I put them in just because it makes it look a little more interactive and look a little more uh, interesting. So I'm gonna add one on the left and one on the right. And we will amend these depending on where we are in the slider, but I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Essentially, that is our basic slider. If you wanted to add some navigation markers down here, like you see on sliders, that's really simple. Just go in and use a circle, make it a small circle, add it down here. And if we were gonna use, um, say, four testimonials, I wanna make sure that there are four of these dots. If you highlight just those dots, you can also use in the position tools, if you go to arrange, you can also ask it to tidy up and it will space and align those. And then you can just use the snap guides to align this to the middle of the testimonial. Those dots are, are gonna show people which slide you're on. So if, if this is gonna be the first slide, you want these ones to just have an outline and not a fill, so that the one that's active or the one that they can see is the one that you are on. 
So there you can see that indicates that you're on the first slide and that there are three more. So it's easy for people to see where they are. So that's our first slide for our testimonial. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to duplicate, which I'm going to do by copying that slide at the bottom here in the thumbnail view, and I'm just going to paste another three. So now we have four slides. The next thing we're going to go in to do is just to replace the pictures, the text, and to change which active page is highlighted in these dots below. And we're going to do that for each of these slides until we have four separate slides as part of this testimonial slider. Okay, so now the slides are done and I'm going to show you the four slides in a row. So first slide, second slide, third slide, and fourth slide. So these are now essentially what make up our testimonial slider. And the one thing that we can do still is to put a transition between the slides. So you just click on the slide, click on this little symbol between the two slides which says add transition. And we're just going to do a very simple, um, I think we'll just do a slide so that it actually feels like the slides are moving one into the other. Now you can either do that individually by the slides or when you click on one and choose to make it a slide, this little option allows you to apply it between all the pages. So now we have four slides that actually slide into each other with a small animation between them. Now, if we go back to our page here, which is in the sales page, this is where we're going to drop our testimonial slider. And it's incredibly simple within Canva because the sales page is created in Canva as well. We can literally just go up to the share button in the top right for this presentation. And if we go to more, we can then see all the options for sharing. If we click on embed, it will then give us the option for an HTML embed code, which is great if you're doing this on an external web page, or you can just use the smart embed link, which some platforms support. Obviously being within Canva, you can do that here. So you just click copy and it will copy that whole line for you. Go back to this page. And as long as you have this slide or this page selected within the sales page, if you just hit paste, it will automatically paste it onto your page. Now you can see that where it's pasted it, there's a difference or a discrepancy in color. So all I'm going to do is click on this page, click on my colors, and then I'm going to add a new color using the color dropper to pick up this color so that it appears seamless on the page. Now I'm just going to stretch it, make it as big as I would like it to be. And you can see it has this sort of gray overlay here, which pops up when you first see it on the page, but it will disappear once the page is actually live and you can then scroll by just clicking on it. So now that testimonial slider is put in here. You can see there are four slides and it's in the middle of a sales page. So I'm going to preview the sales page and we can see what it looks like as if the page is live. So this is what the sales page looks like. As I said, this is one of my own fully designed sales pages that's going to be for sale in my shop. Um, so we're just going to scroll down and you'll see that there are multiple sections and we have inserted that section after that quote and there it is. So you'll see the little bar at the bottom appears for a few seconds and then it will disappear and then you've just got an embedded testimonial slider. If you click on them, you'll see the automatic arrow pops up and you can still navigate with that nice sliding effect between the four slides. And that takes you between the four of them. These little dots change at the bottom so people can see where they are within the slideshow um, or within the testimonial slider. And then you go to the end of it and you can't click any further, but you can on the left hand side to go back. Now, one of the things I wanted to change on this was that this arrow here says that there is another slide, but there isn't. So we want to take that one off and we also want to go back to the first slide and we want to take that arrow off because there is nothing to the left of this. So the nice thing about having this embedded into the sales page is that if we go back into the testimonial presentation and we go to the last slide and take that arrow off and we go to the first slide and we take that arrow off, then what we can do is if we go back to the sales page, if you scroll down to the page, you'll see that it has automatically updated. So you don't have to re-embed it. That arrow is now gone. And on the last slide, you will see that the right hand arrow has also gone. We've updated that in the original testimonial slider within this presentation, and it has automatically updated it wherever it is embedded in a Canva doc or where the external embed code is used. And that's it. You have a testimonial slider to add to your sales page quick and easy and also fully editable in Canva so that you can make changes, add slides and update it as quickly as you need to 
within your website. So that's pretty much it, folks. So obviously the design of this I've kept very simple and minimal, but you can do whatever you want because within Canva you have full control of the elements on that slide. You can design to your heart's content to fit your sales page um, and that way hopefully increase conversions by including testimonials for your service product or offer online. So I'm going to be doing some more videos on uh, formatting and creating different sections for your sales page. If that is something that's of interest to you, please hit the subscribe button down below um, so that you can make sure that you know when there are new videos that are coming out. And please subscribe to my newsletter. The URL to do that is on the screen at the moment. Um, so I will then send that out weekly with some tools, inspiration, and also updates on which tutorials and videos are available. That's it for me today. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I so appreciate your support and keep an eye out for these ready-made sales page templates or sales pages which are going to be for sale in my shop in the next couple of weeks. So uh, sign up for the newsletter and I will let you know when those go live. Thanks again. Have a fabulous day.